so the rams are all penned into a small pen and we'll be here for a few days getting used to the smell of each other so they don't beat the crap out of each other but so far they've uh, been very quiet and I think it's partially because the um, it was so hot I don't have any other food you're just gonna have hay at the moment and tomorrow I'm gonna attack these are Hawthorne um, those are both um, abscesses, so tomorrow I'm going to attack those. But I'm going to let the lads just chill and eat hay. I oh, know you want more than hay. You're not getting more than hay. At least not yet. But they're going to be doing well. Having a good munch. Oh! There. You just want more than hay. You saw I fed the alpacas something more. So, it's been quite a day. I'm, I looked at the time a few moments ago, and it was nearly 10 o'clock. So, I've been going at it since, oh, 3 this afternoon with the shearing. Here's little blackbird. Oreo bloom. And feathers. That's some of the wool that was shorn today. And this is all the daggings and short wool. That's gonna go and mulch around trees. And then these are fleeces that I haven't been able to sort yet, but I will sort tomorrow. I will skirt the daggings off of all these fleeces. There's some magnificent fleeces here just beautiful with a really nice length of staple staple is the length of oh look look at you mustard this is this is your first official shearing you were around for shearing last year but you were a tiny kitten you having a lovely time cats love real wool isn't that right real wool cats absolutely love which is why I sell cat blankets. They like it much better than fleeces. And it looks beautiful, my black fleeces, don't they? You look beautiful, surrounded by black fleeces, don't you? You good kitty. You gonna climb over the wall? No, too scary, he doesn't know it, but he likes it. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, cats sleep on this tonight, on these fleeces. Isn't that right? You beautiful kitty. Here's an oven mitt. Thistle. And these are the two ancient aunties. And she's the one with the St. John's wart photosynthesize, synthesis, photosensitive. So she gets sunburnt. So I will be putting her inside again. <coughs> the two aunties. Aggie is crippled with arthritis, poor girl. She really is not doing great, poor thing. And then there's <coughs> Becky with her arthritis over there. So I've got the th two old ladies and the uh, photo sensitized yo. Some people call this um, scab, but it's not. This is completely different from the disease, the skin disease, which is scratchy. This is to do with eating a herb that then makes the yo's skin sensitive to sunlight. Are you having a thing, a moment? Horses get this. Horses, this can happen to horses, it can happen to sheep, it can happen to cows, it can happen to dogs. It's being sensitive to sunlight. And St. John's wort um, can affect sheep that way. Okay, come on pups. Come on. Out of dogs. So I'm going to open the shed.
Yeah. I've been letting the alpaca have some knots. And I'm going to let the sheep back in the shed. There we go. Whoop. Sheep in, alpaca out. Whoop. <laughs> No, 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 no. Leave them be, Inca. It's bold. I need to go and eat some food. I'm starving myself. Come on. The day is done. No, you're not coming with us. Brindle, come on. Out. Brindle, out. Come on, Ink. Out. Go on. I'm coming. I'm following you. I just don't want the sheep to follow us. Come on. Out. Good dog. Okay. And tomorrow morning I have to put you back in the shed. And put cream on your face. I know. Okay. The day is done.